our help is in the name of the Lord, who made heaven and earth. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. My dear brothers and sisters in Christ, today we celebrate Memorial Day here in the U.S. We remember all of those who gave the ultimate sacrifice in service to their country, and we thank them. People like David Vasilevsky, who was killed in action during World War II. So t let us begin in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Lord, bless us with the wisdom to praise you in spirit and in truth, so that by following your holy will, we may gain eternal salvation. Amen. My dear brothers and sisters, let us take a moment, confess our sins to God in ways that we have failed him and our neighbor in thought, word, deed, and omission, so that we may worthily participate in this holy sacrifice. Please now make an examination of your conscience. Let's say together the second form of the confidior. I confess to Almighty God in the presence of the Blessed Virgin Mary, all the saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, that I have sinned through my own fault, in my thoughts, in my words, and what I have done or failed to do. I ask the Blessed Virgin Mary, all the saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. For your penance, I would ask you to say to our fathers and to Hail Marys, May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. And may our Lord Jesus Christ absolve you, and with his authority vested in me, I absolve you from all of your sins, in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. God is present as my helper. The Lord sustains my life. Because your name has rescued me from every trouble, and my eyes look down on my foes. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Kyrie eleison, Kyrie eleison, Christ eleison, Christ eleison, Kyrie eleison, Kyrie eleison. Glory to God in the highest, and peace to his people on earth. Lord God, heavenly King, almighty God and Father, we worship you, we give you thanks, we praise you for your glory. Lord Jesus Christ, only Son of the Father, Lord God, Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, receive our prayer, for you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord, you alone are the Most High. Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father. Amen. The Lord be with you. Let us pray. Most loving Father, bless those who have served in the armed forces of our nation and received the souls of those men and women who gave their lives in the service of freedom as they gave themselves to advance the ideal of world peace and justice May they inspire our continued efforts towards this same end. We ask this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of the prophet Isaiah. In those days, the Spirit from on high will be poured out on us. Then will the desert become an orchard, and the orchard be regarded as a forest. Right will dwell in the desert, and justice abide in the orchard. Justice will bring about peace. Right will produce calm and security. My people will live in peaceful country, in secure dwellings, and quiet resting places. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Our response is, The Lord speaks of peace to his people. The Lord speaks of peace to his people. I will hear what God proclaims. The Lord, for he proclaims peace. 
Near indeed is his salvation to those who fear him, glory dwelling in our land. The Lord speaks of peace to his people. Kindness and truth shall meet, justice and peace shall kiss. Truth shall spring out of the earth, and justice shall look down from heaven. The Lord speaks of peace to his people. The Lord himself will give his benefits, our land shall yield its increase, its increase justice along the way of his steps. The Lord speaks of peace to his people. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Philippians. Brothers and sisters, have no anxiety at all, but in everything, by prayer and petition, with thanksgiving, make your requests known to God. Thus the peace of God that surpasses all understanding will guard your hearts and minds in Christ Jesus. Finally, brothers and sisters, Whatever is true, whatever is honorable, whatever is just, whatever is pure, whatever is lovely, whatever is gracious, if there is any excellence, and if there is anything worthy of praise, think about these things. Keep on doing what you have learned and received and heard and seen in me. Then the God of peace will be with you. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. They will sing of the ways of the Lord. How great is the glory of the Lord. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. May Almighty God cleanse my heart and my lips so I may worthily proclaim your holy gospel. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. Matthew. When Jesus saw the crowds, he went up the mountain. And after he had sat down, his disciples came to him. He began to teach them, saying, Blessed are the poor in spirit, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Blessed are they who mourn, for they will be comforted. Blessed are the meek, for they will inherit the land. Blessed are they who hunger and thirst for righteousness, for they will be satisfied. Blessed are the merciful, for they will be shown mercy. Blessed are the clean of heart, for they will see God. Blessed are the peacemakers, for they will be called children of God. Blessed are they who are persecuted for the sake of righteousness, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Blessed are you when they insult you and persecute you and utter every kind of evil against you falsely because of me. Rejoice and be glad, for your reward will be great in heaven. This is the gospel of the Lord. Praise be to you, Lord Jesus Christ. My dear brothers and sisters in Christ, on this solemn day that may sometimes be conflated with thinking about those who are currently serving or are veterans or things like that. We take today, Memorial Day, to remember those who gave everything. Those who wrote a blank check to Uncle Sam and was cashed. They gave their lives for something bigger than them. And indeed, our Lord is himself says, what greater thing is there than to lay down one's life for one's friend? All these people have gone before us who, and even though Memorial Day had its genesis with remembering those lost in the Civil War, <coughs> We look at all of those who fought for our freedom, starting with the Revolutionary War and our emancipation from the United Kingdom, the War of 1812, the French and Indian War, <laughs> of course the U.S. Civil War, World War One, World War Two, Korea, Vietnam. Operations Desert Shield and Storm. 
indeed those conflicts that go on today where our own countrymen and women today are laying down their lives where that's why my brothers and sisters it is incumbent incumbent upon us to do a few things one to remain faithful to our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ and always follow his teachings every one of his teachings when we strive to and when we fail confess and move on but also to fight to retain the freedoms that were so hard fought hard won and hard defended by these millions and millions of Americans who have fallen for that very purpose to preserve our freedom which is so precious and and so in danger right now so my brothers and sisters let us never re re forget let's never forget the fallen ever but also let us honor them and their sacrifice by doing all we can to protect and defend the Constitution of the United States against all enemies, foreign and domestic. That's the oath those of the fallen took. It's the oath I took. That should be each and every American citizen's oath as well, to uphold, protect, and defend the Constitution of the United States of America against all enemies, foreign and domestic. So help me God. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Let us now turn to page 71 and say together the creed that unites us as Christians. I believe in one God, the Father, the Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all that is seen and unseen. I believe in one Lord, Jesus Christ, the only Son of God, eternally begotten of the Father. God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten, not made, of one being with the Father. Through him all things were made. For us and for our salvation he came down from heaven. By the power of the Holy Spirit he was born of the Virgin Mary and became man. For our sake he was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried. On the third day he rose again in fulfillment of the scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord and giver of life, who proceeds from the Father. With the Father and the Son, he is worshipped and glorified. He has spoken through the prophets. I believe in one holy Catholic and apostolic church. I acknowledge one baptism for the forgiveness of sins. I look for the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. The Lord be with you. In confidence and trust, let us offer our prayers and petitions to our loving Father. And our response is, Alleluia. For the church, that she may always and everywhere proclaim God's mercy and forgiveness with joy through the grace of the Holy Spirit. We pray to the Lord. Alleluia. For an end to hatred and violence the serious commitment to the work of peace and unity may fill every corner of the world. We pray to the Lord. Alleluia. For the health and safety of military personnel, first responders, and all who stand in harm's way to protect and defend the lives of others. We pray to the Lord. Alleluia. For blessings on our graduates, that they may always recognize the hand of God in all of their accomplishments. We pray to the Lord. Alleluia. For the sick, the suffering, and the grieving, especially Richard Halterman and those in the Uvalde community of South Texas, that God's steadfast love may bring them comfort and hope. We pray to the Lord. Alleluia. For all of the intentions we hold deep in the silence of our hearts. And for all of those who gave the ultimate sacrifice defending our nation, which is our mass intention today, we pray to the Lord. Alleluia. For all of those who have died and those who will die today, our deceased loved ones and all who gave their lives in service to our nation, that they may enjoy eternal rest in God's heavenly kingdom. We pray to the Lord. 
Alleluia. Most merciful Father, your beloved Son is the Alpha and the Omega, the bright morning star. May we always trust in his great mercy. We ask this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. I will bring about the restoration of my people Israel. They shall rebuild and inhabit their ruined cities, plant vineyards and drink the wine, set out gardens and eat the fruits. I will plant them upon their own ground. Never again shall they be plucked from the land I have given them. Say, I, the Lord, your God. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, through your goodness we have this bread to offer, which earth has given and human hands have made. May it become for us the bread of life. May the mystery of this wine and water, may we come to share in the divinity of Christ who humbled himself to share in our humanity. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, through your goodness we have this wine to offer. Fruit of the vine and work of human hands, may it become our spiritual drink. Lord God, we ask you to receive us and be pleased with the sacrifice we offer you with humble and contrite hearts. Come, Holy Spirit, and bless this sacrifice which we have prepared for the glory of your holy name. Lord, wash away my iniquity. Cleanse me from my sin. Receive this offering, most holy trinity, which we make in memory of the passion, resurrection, and ascension of our Lord Jesus Christ, and in honor of the Blessed Virgin Mary and all the saints. May they whose memory we honor on earth intercede for us in heaven. Pray, my brothers and sisters, that our sacrifice may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept this sacrifice from my hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and for the benefit of his holy church. Heavenly Father, as we offer you this sacrifice, may we also offer ourselves to carry on the heritage with which we have been entrusted. We ask this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. Father, all-powerful and ever-living God, we do well always and everywhere to give you thanks through your Son, Jesus Christ, our Lord. We come to you in prayer with gratitude for your providence throughout the history of our beloved nation. May all nations be glad and exult in you because you rule the peoples justly and you guide the nations on the earth. May we have the strength to serve you and one another more faithfully that we may attain eternal life. Therefore, with the angels and archangels, with all the saints and the entire church, we lift our hymn of praise to your glory, repeating unceasingly, Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of power and might, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Holy sacrifice of the Mass will continue with Eucharistic Prayer 5, which is found on page 92 if you're following along. Blessed are you. God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, Father of mercy and God of all consolation, for you so loved the world that you gave your only begotten Son, that whoever believes in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. He then established a lasting memorial of your salvation, on the evening in which he willingly surrendered himself. He took bread, gave you thanks, blessed it and broke it, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat it. For this is my body, which is given for you. When supper had ended, he took the cup. In the same way, he gave you thanks and blessed it, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the cup of my blood 
the blood of the new and everlasting covenant, which shall be shed for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. As often as you do this, do it in remembrance of me. So we recall before you, Father, the incarnation of your Son, his words and deeds, how he humbled himself and obediently accepted death, even death on the cross. Therefore you've raised him up and given him a name which is above every name, so that in heaven and under the earth every knee shall bow and every tongue proclaim to the glory of God the Father, Jesus Christ is Lord. We offer the sacrifice of your Son before you, Father, with praise and thanksgiving and ask that you accept this oblation. Send your Holy Spirit and fill these gifts with his life-giving power that they may be for us the body and blood of your dearly beloved Son. Grant that the bread which we break may be the body of our Lord, and the cup over which we give thanks may be one with the blood of our Lord Jesus Christ, the company of Mary, the mother of God, with your apostles and martyrs, whom we will abroad in all the saints, together with Anthony, our prime bishop, Jerry, our bishop, and with all bishops, priests, and deacons, and we also remember St. Felix of Rome, as well as your whole church. We praise and glorify you and look forward to the coming of your beloved Son, our Lord Jesus Christ. Through him, with him, in him, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all honor and glory are yours, Almighty Father, forever and ever. Amen. Let us pray with confidence to the Father in the words our Savior taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, from every evil, and grant us peace in our day. In your mercy, keep us free from sin, and protect us from all anxiety, as we wait in joyful hope for the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever cup of blessing which we bless is it not a participation in the blood of christ the bread which we break is it not a participation in the body of christ because there is one bread we who are many are one body for we all partake of the one bread may the union of divinity and humanity in jesus christ bring us sanctification and eternal life amen lord jesus christ you said to your apostles i leave you peace my peace i give you do not look at our sins but on the faith of your church Grant us the peace and unity of your kingdom where you live forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. On you stay, qui tolis peccata mundi, miserere nobis. On you stay, qui tolis peccata mundi, miserere nobis. On you stay, qui tolis peccata mundi, Dona nobis pacem. Let's say together the second communion prayer on page 98 if you're following along. In the partaking of your body and blood, Lord Jesus, not because for my judgment or condemnation, but I'm unworthy to receive this great sacrament through your loving kindness. May it become my safeguard and healing remedy. My saving master awaken in me a living faith, fervent love, worship, adoration, and a holy longing. Through this communion, make me your willing servant, zealous to fulfill your holy will. May it at last unite me entirely with you, my Lord and my God. I will take the bread of heaven and call upon the name of the Lord. Lord, I am not worthy to receive you, but only say the word and I shall be healed. In the body of Christ, bring me to everlasting life. May the blood of Christ bring me to everlasting life. Please join me now in the act of spiritual communion. Most loving Jesus, I adore you in the most blessed sacrament in which you are truly present. I love you above all things, and I long for you in my soul. 
<coughs> Since I cannot receive you sacramentally, I ask you to come spiritually into my heart and heal my soul. I embrace you and unite myself with you. May I never be separated from you. Inflame my heart with the fire of your love, my Lord and Savior. Amen. Lord, may I possess with a pure heart that which I have taken as food. May the gift I have received bring me healing and strength now and forever. He has told you, O mortal, what is good, and what does the Lord require of you but do justice, and to love kindness, and to walk humbly with your God. Let us pray. Most gracious God, we have received the body and blood of your Son, Jesus Christ, who called unto himself all who were oppressed with the burdens of life. May he also draw unto himself all those who have served in the cause of freedom and justice. We ask this through the same Jesus Christ who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. The Lord be with you. May the blessing of Almighty God, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit come upon you and remain with you forever. Amen. The Mass is ended. Go in peace. Alleluia. Alleluia. Thanks be to God. Alleluia. Alleluia. Please join me now in the prayer of St. Michael. Holy Michael, the archangel, defend us in battle. Be our safeguard against the wickedness and sin. May God rebuke him, we humbly pray. And do you, O Prince of the Heavenly Host, by the power of God, cast into hell Satan and all the evil spirits who wander through the world seeking the ruin of souls. Amen. Please join me now in prayer for peace with the prayer of St. Francis. Lord, make me an instrument of your peace. Where there's hatred, let me so love. Where there's injury, pardon. Where there's doubt, faith. Where there's despair, hope. Where there's darkness, light. Where there's sadness, joy. O Divine Master, grant that I may not so much seek to be consoled as to console, to be understood as to understand, to be loved as to love. For it is in giving that we receive. It is in pardoning that we are pardoned. It is in dying that we are born to eternal life. Amen. My dear brothers and sisters in Christ, thank you so much for joining us for our Memorial Day Mass today. We will not be having Mass Tuesday and Wednesday, uh, but we will be back Thursday at 9 a.m. Central Daylight Time, God willing, and then on Sunday for Pentecost at 9 a.m. Central Daylight Time. We ask that you wear red on Sunday as an ancient tradition to celebrate the coming of the Holy Spirit. So pray you have a blessed Memorial Day. Stay safe, take care of yourselves, take care of each other, and remain in a state of grace. O oh, beautiful, full spacious skies, for amber waves of grey, for purple mountain majesties above the fruited plain, America, America, God shed his grace on thee, and crown thy good with brotherhood from sea to shining.